I trust that the ceramic trauma plate I'm wearing will stop a 357 Magnum round traveling at 490 meters per second. I trust myself not to move, not to flinch. I trust my teammates. And they trust me. What's going on, ladies and gents? Siege Pursuit bringing you guys today some more Rainbow Six Siege Operator breakdowns. And I would like to inform you all that I highly suggest you guys stick around, watch all the way to the end, because I have a very important announcement about tomorrow and some little things that are going to be changing with the channel. So, today we are talking about Rook. Now, Rook is probably one of the most picked defensive operators in Rainbow Six Siege just because that he is. A simple pick, as I like to say. Um, when it comes down to it, having a rook on your team doesn't hurt. Like picking between, if you go between, if it came down between a castle and a rook, I'd rather have a rook. If it came between a castle, if it came between a rook and a capkin, I'd rather have a rook. Rook Gagger, rather have a rook. Rook allows you to take that extra damage, and he really has a very strong weapon in the MP5. And a shotgun, which isn't too bad. And the P90, well, we'll talk about the, uh, all the weapons in a second here. But overall, Rook is just a very simple-to-use character. So, let's get right into it. Rook is a heavy operator, which means he's the slowest of the slow, but he can tank a lot of damage. Now, his primary weapons, as stated, are the MP5, the P90, and I believe Rook does get the shotgun. It isn't listed here. I'm not particularly sure because I don't remember in front of me. Because, like I said, I've been on exams all week, so I actually haven't picked up the game in a bit. But I think he does get the shotgun. I'm not sure. If he doesn't, it's not a big deal. <laughs> so, with the MP5 as being one of his strongest weapons, and one of, the, obviously, the strongest weapons in the game, having that use of, with the ACOG, Flash Hider, and Grip, it makes for an amazing, accurate, high rate of fire, decent, lower end of the spectrum damage, but you can easily pick up those headshots with that nice ACOG. Coming with the secondaries, you have the Revolver or the P9, I still prefer to pick with uh, stick with the P9 just because more ammo is better, higher fire rate, better chance to hit the head at that point, things along those lines. Uh, between his deployable shield and the barbed wire, it's really your personal pick at that point. And we're going to talk now about his gadget, which is the armor ceramic plates. So with the ceramic plates, like I said, it's straightforward. You drop it down and people come around to pick it up. You get five. Uh, the enemies can actually pick this up, so there you go. That is a good thing to know. Um, overall, I've heard many things about the armor state, um, how much damage it actually allows you to absorb. I've heard it allows you to absorb one bullet, a certain percentage of a bullet, um, like damage of a gun that it does. Um, I think it overall still rounds to about a bullet or so of damage, but taking an extra round in Rainbow Six Siege is extremely useful as it is. So if it per se the damage is set to one bullet or a certain percentage of a firearm, it's still a good thing to do. Now I know that Capcan's gun, uh, not Capcan, uh, Glaz's uh, DMR sniper rifle shoots very, very powerful. It has such a strong hit. They can really, really punch through his armor and allows you to go it, it can it, it can it can still do a lot of damage it's still two shot can still two shot some uh some people because it has such a strong damage output so even though you do have that extra round of damage glass can still mess your day up very very quickly it's not it, it's it's not hard glass can really mess your day up even with this extra armor on now, granted, everything else aside, it's just super straightforward. You put on the armor and it protects yourself. So, what are some tips that you can use with this armor? Well, the pack can actually be placed down in front of drone ports. And once you place it down in front of a little drone port, they can't drive through. Or, well, they can jump through if you have, they have enough little space to. But, you can block off ports like that so they can't peek through and stuff. Just thinking outside the box. It's not, I guess we'll say hard to put it down. Like I said, Rook's very straightforward and his ability so useful that that's why he's probably one of the top picked operators in this game. I like at the end of the day, having a Rook is something so important that well, you almost need a Rook sometimes to survive, especially on maps like especially on game modes like Bomb where you have to split up and move around, taking an extra damage uh, when moving can be life or death, obviously, in Rainbow Six Siege. So, once again, that extra bullet or whatever percentage it is, is an extreme 
help to the team. Obviously, he pairs good with Doc, because Doc can resurrect you even though you've tanked so much damage. Manually picking you up for 75% damage, or with the med gun still for 70% health. 75% health. It's just insane how much these two can make a tank out of the defensive team, really helping some of those lighter weight operators move around quicker and still yet take that damage. Obviously, it doesn't negate headshots, but hey, bullet of damage is still bullet of damage in this game, and it's very important. So that's going to wrap today's video. Uh, as I said, for the important news that comes at the end here, tomorrow there's going to be a massive update video that you guys don't want to miss. There's going to be channel revamps. You guys are going to be able to play games with me and stuff. Uh, my summer has started because I'm in college, so I really suggest you guys sit down, watch this video that comes out tomorrow. It's stupidly important. If you guys are really interested in playing games with me, learning about what's going on with the channel, things like that, because it's summertime. It is time for me to start cranking down on this channel and seeing how I can bring some better content, stream, stuff like that. So really, guys, check it out. Super, super important. Without further ado, I'm the Jewish Bruce, and I'll see you, Sex Beast, in the next episode. Peace.